Hello and welcome back to Shelf Centered. Thank you so much for stopping by. I <laughs> This is our first installment of Can a Mood Reader Keep to His TBR that he set at the end of last year. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I don't think it's too bad because for once in my life I've been sticking to a TBR, I think. Uh, but anyway, so what I did was I have Goodreads. I've got a uh, couple Goodreads lists going on and so if you have Goodreads you may or may not know this that you can essentially organize your books online into shelves so not only can you communicate with people and review books but you can actually put different books into shelves that you've organized and so what you'll see here is my shelves that I created for a TBR and then I also created a shelf for uh, what I'm trying to complete, the 10 series I'm trying to complete in the next year. So we'll see how I'm doing. I will jump over there right now. All right, so if you have Goodreads, you know that you can create bookshelves. You just put uh, different books for different reasons on different in different places just to kind of keep track of everything. There was a point in time where I realized I wasn't going to be able to remember everything I've ever read and Goodreads is really handy for that as as many issues as as it has and I as and as I know that popular booktubers have complained about it's it's still one of the best for just that everybody uses and it at least does minimally what it's supposed to do and I can accept that uh, but you can create so as you can see throughout the years I always kind of keep a running uh, total of the amount of books that I have read. I may have to change this up because I like keeping all that kind of consistent and I don't want to mess that up with these ones. But anyway, I did create these uh, TBR, my TBR based on my TBR video. I'll make sure I get there. There we go. And I also did a completed series. I did a video on the completed series, so I made sure and made a, uh, a video there. Uh, or a... <laughs> uh, a bookshelf there. So uh, as we are about 140 days into the year, yes, I use the date calculator that you can Google and look up. Uh, we are about 38% of the year done. So that's important because I am looking here at about 10, almost 11 books read of my TBR of 34. Uh, technically, I didn't commit to all 34. I just put every all 34 that I mentioned in that video on this list. And let's see if we can. There we go. Get get in here. Get in here. Nice and personal. Um, it's some personal space here. So, getting into this, this does show what I have read from the TBR. Usually, they'll be rated. Although that gets a little confusing when we get to the rereads that I'm doing, such as The Crippled God, Dust of Dreams, Told the Hounds, Reaper Gate, Reaper's Gale, and The Silmarillion. So technically I didn't ever put The Silmarillion on this list. So uh, on the, the list for my video, I just figured I might want to do that for the upcoming Lord of the Rings television series. So I added it on. I probably shouldn't have. It's, it's confusing everything. But anyway, uh, I'm trying to make sure that I make any kind of sense here. These are the TBR books, 34 minus the Silmarillion minus I didn't commit to Trumps of Doom. So there's two. I didn't commit to Tough Voyaging either. And I don't think I committed to The King Beyond the Gate. I think those are just if I have time. Uh, this also goes to the next page, but I checked that already, and they, that hell has the right books that are definitely TBRs. Um, so if we do uh, look at this, uh, so 2022 or TBR is really 30 books long. I've read, so if we count all these, 10, almost 11 because I have... Uh, Ship of Destiny, the third in the live ship traders it's on the next page. I am so close to finishing it. I might as well count it at this time. By the time I actually post this video, it will definitely have been read. So if we look at... Oh, duh, there it is. All right, there's our Ship of Destiny. So that's pretty much read. So if we really do the math there, uh, we're looking at 11 out of 30... 
So what we're looking at, Dune, look at these. I, I, I felt like for a while I was doing pretty well. Uh, I've also been making some good progress in, let's see, the next page. In Words of Radiance, so we're getting there. Um, uh, but we definitely have some way to go here. <laughs> I have a lot to read by the end of the year uh, and not a whole ton of time. So if we look at, if we take, uh, we're about 140 days into the year. That's about 38% of the year done. Uh, that, um, I, I'm not really, you know, I had to, I had to look that up with the date calculator that you can easily Google. So, uh, I'm not that aware of the dates. I just know my deadlines for work and court and everything. Um, but then, so if you do take, I'm about 38%, well, we're about 38% through with the year. I'm about 36, 37% done with my list. So I'm a little behind, but not too bad. Part of my problem is I keep getting uh, sidetracked here. So, but I did also want to look into that because it's kind of a TBR video as well, the 10 completed series that I want to make sure and complete. The attempt will be within the year, but probably more like by next year. Uh, but let's take a look at that. All right, so as I said, nicely, I set myself up quite nicely here uh, for a finishing Ship of Destiny. So we're almost done there. Uh, the last command, I definitely need to get moving on. The sacred band that might take some time because I'm I'm realizing I probably need a good reread of the, the the other lands the book book two of that series, but Revelation uh, or Redemption arc this Revelation space book is already on as we can see here my 2022 TBR as well as this one so that one's double lined up to make happen though this one did not make my 2022 TBR. We can still, I mean, again, it's just the third in the series. It makes the most sense just to keep going there. Um, a sale is also on both the 2022 TBR as well as the 2022 completed uh, series. Anything else is, but uh, Necessary Evil, that is definitely uh, one to do. And again, I that one's a shorter one. I think that's doable. Um, Wish Song is on the longer side, but... I'll try to fit that one in. Uh, Calamity actually, uh, these just are going, alf well, not even alphabet, they're just date I added, I guess. Um, but uh, Calamity and Firefight actually just kind of started a little bit on my Kindle. I've got Firefight, so that one will be trucking along here soon. Um, let's see, Jade War and Jade Legacy, I'm really thinking those might be my next up after I finish up the Live Ship Traders, I know, which is exactly not on my TBR for the other list, um, but anyway, so then we've got So Long Thanks for All the Fish and Mostly Harmless, I think those are doable in, in you know, those are they're short enough, uh, but they definitely are not, oh yeah, that's this is the end of the list, there we go, um, they're not, I mean, they're, they're not as big priorities as, as on the other list. So the other list is definitely going to take priority over this one. And then hopefully I can finish up this one by or at least early next year is my goal. But so I'm one down out of the 14, not doing great on that list. <laughs> but uh, once I get a couple of these like Redemption Arc and a sale under my belt, then that'll have the rest for... Uh, the books I for the 10 completed series, I'll, I'll be trucking along there too, I think. So, um, and then there's like, luckily, I gave myself some short ones. All right, hopefully that made any sense. Uh, I think I'm doing okay. Uh, I'm not doing terrible. It's uh, better to be honest than I thought because I am really, I, I, I gave myself the ability to become a mood reader. It was a gift that I had to give myself. Uh, I blogged for a number of years, and there just comes a point where you're kind of, and it's gonna sound like looking a gift horse in the mouth, but you just get overwhelmed with the books that you are getting, and then it becomes suddenly that you are reading for other people, and I wanted to read for myself, and that's kind of what I wanted to do and why I became a mood reader. So 
Uh, hopefully this made some sense though. And, and I mean, it's more of a checkup, keeping myself accountable, trying to keep this mood reader uh, not just completely jumping into his moods. So anyway, thank you for liking and subscribing and we will catch you next time. Bye.